Hello once again programmers, it's 19 Cups of Java bringing you another game Java game tutorial video. Um, sorry I haven't been making videos lately, but I've been having a hard time at college, so I hope this makes up for it. Um, we're going to get the power bar moving, because of last time all it did was stand still and then it's just painted there. So we're going to get it moving, so first thing we need to do is... We need to implement another inter interface, which is going to be key listener in uh, your breakout screen. And then it's going to want us to implement some methods, so just click on this. Alright, so now you can just get rid of this. It's not very important. And then I always change the um, argument to key e, or k e, sorry. All right. Now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna make an int, and it's gonna be called key code. And what we're gonna do is set it equal to key k e dot get key code. What this does is it returns an integer to whatever key was recently pressed. So that's good so we can tell which key was pressed and we can check for the ones we want to know. So what we what we're going to we're going to type a if statement and it's going to be if key code is equal to I think it's key event, hold on. And then you go to vk underscore up and that's going to be the up arrow key oh whoops whoops we're doing a bar so it's actually going to be left sorry and that's going to represent the left arrow key and uh now since we know it's going to we're going to be checking for two keys which is going to be left and right so only one of them can be pressed so we're going to do else if key code is equal to key event dot vk dot write so basically what we're going to do in here and something's wrong hold on real quick I always got to do this. VK underscore right there. All right. Now, um, what we need to do is we're gonna s we're gonna set up two methods in here, which are gonna be oh, which actually we already did that. I didn't realize that. S set left and set right. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that and say. Uh, player bar dot set left to true. So this is going to set our boolean in power bar to true. And then what we're going to, which we already have it here, it's going to start moving the, you know, the bar. And hold on a second, my cat's clawing at my door. All right, sorry about that. My cat, uh, it irritates me. And then we're going to do the same thing over here for uh, dot set right to true. And we're going to do the same thing for key released. So you could just copy this code right here and paste it into here. And basically all we're going to change is this and set it to false. And basically, that's pretty much it. I mean, you don't have to really know about this. This is basically the same thing as key pressed, but it's like if you pressed it once and not held it down. So we're not going to be using this code, this method right here. And I think that's it because we had more code written out than I thought we did because I thought I had I would have to type this and also these. So. Let me let me see if it'll work. It should work. 
Oh, I don't think we added key listener. Yeah, sorry. So we're going to go back to breakout screen, and we actually have to add key listener to J panel. So how we do that is we do this. Um, this dot add key listener this because the key listener the methods that we put down here are in this class so we want to add the key listener of this class from this J panel that probably sounds confusing but just put this code and it should work well, that's peculiar Hold on a second. Sorry about that. I just realized in our update method that we call from our game thread, we didn't put player bar dot move. Sorry about that. There, there's little things that can mess up the program. So now it should work. God dang it. Uh, hold on a second. Sorry about that for the third time. <laughs> uh, we forgot one more method, and this is the most important. You type in this dot request focus. Oh, whoops. Come on. Focus in window, which I'm probably not going to type that out right. Request right here. Request focus in window. Basically, what this does is key events they need the focus to actually start you know using the methods we implemented so you basically request for the focus in the J panel so that's what this method does so now let's try it out and boom look at that it's moving the only problem is it goes out of the screen we don't want that so what we're gonna do is go into power bar and yeah, we have the width and height, I think. What is this? Width divided by 2 minus 20. Oh, oh, sorry. I know what that is. All right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to have to check um, if width is... Actually, it's going to be x plus width. If it's greater than the width of the screen, which we did in the constructor, then we just want x to equal, um, it would be like width minus the width of the bar. And let's check if that works. Boom, there we go. Now we gotta get the left side. Um, if um, x is less than zero, then we want to set x equal to 0 because 0 is the left side of the screen so we just want to set it back to 0 if it goes past it and boom look at that it stops right where the edge of the screen is alright that's it for this tutorial um, next tutorial I'm gonna get the ball to bounce off the bar so I hope this tutorial was informal informing Please um, subscribe, like my videos, share them. Um, I'll see you next time, programmers. This has been 19 Cups of Java. See you next time.